He always was an idol of mine, eh? and uh, I really got to his music when I was living in the States in the 90s. I saw him a couple of times live, and I was very really impressed with his persona. I got his contact from uh, Puppa, a mutual friend of ours, and uh, the funny thing was uh, he contacted me first, and uh, he needed a favor, and uh, I got invited to the home with, where he lived with his lovely wife, Mary. And um, I'm supposed to bring his bass to uh, Vienna, and I thought to bring his bass guitar. And uh, it turned out that uh, I'm supposed to bring his passport to the Russian embassy. And it's quite funny. Um, and the rest is history. <laughs> well, I loved reggae since I was a kid, but my main bag was always rock and roll. Um, but people used to ask me, why don't you do reggae? And I always said, hey, let the people do it who can really can do it. But uh, the turning point was when I was uh, got married in Jamaica and we decided to do the honeymoon in the studios of Kingston. It was there when I met uh, Sly and Robbie and Ikemas. Uh, we did a couple of songs with my friend Warren. And uh, from then on, I uh, got accepted into the Hall of Fame of reggae. But uh, there's something very sp spiritual about him. Um, for the song For Real, I um, was at the Sperry Estate in Switzerland, and I was impressed how unconventional and uh, creative he does things. Pure genius. Well, this is my first release on the name Starboy, and with my uh, new record label, For Real Music. And I'm very happy to work with my producer, Heinz Lutschinetz. Um, in the next few months, we're going to release uh, more songs and videos. And there's also a vinyl EP in the bushes. So more wonderful things to come. Well, uh, I first came to Jamaica 30 years ago. And uh, I was just blown away from the vibes, the people, the music, the colors. Everything. Uh, I was just hooked from the very first moment on. Well, it was quite a journey. Uh, it all started out in Jamaica at Paul Hand's studio. Where I only had two chords and a little melody. And uh, from there on, we produced back and forth crowds, Jamaica, Jamaica crowds. And, um, and there's quite a bunch of great musicians on there. Um, and um, very proud of my daughter Jasmine doing some backup focus on the one. And we got a wonderful Liz Taylor for a couple of verses on the one too. The song is about uh, stopping the new world order in a positive way. Uh, like Lee says, you know, um, evil is stupid. The devil will go away if you ignore him. Wow, uh, he's like Halil Selassie, you know. He's very holy and I'm uh, very humbled and uh, pure genius, poor madness, magical. Just laughing. Read, read, read.